What is up, people? Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Oddball Aquatics. I don't really have a specific video this week, so I thought I would just take you guys along on like some of the stuff that I gotta get done, and also the stuff I've done. So check it out. Got new fish. That is a red panda barb. Um, well, it's seven of them. And they're like little velociraptors in this uh, 40 gallon. But they're all hiding in this wisteria, so I gotta do some work on that tank today and clean that out. But yeah, you can get these at aquaticarts.com. They're like super, super red. I love them. This is not doing them any justice because they are not showing their true colors right now. And the rope fish says, go to work, mom. So into work. I gotta bag up all the shrimps, pull the shrimps, bag the shrimps, send the shrimps to you guys because y'all need shrimps. Everybody loves shrimps. Um, we also sell fish and plants, but I didn't film any of that because I was working. So you get shrimps and also a fire because across the street they're doing a bunch of construction across the street from aquatic arts and apparently they caught this trailer on fire. Now fun fact about fire, you'll see that that's black smoke because that's an active fire. As soon as they get it under control and quote unquote out, the smoke will turn white because it is now a fire that is being put out. Anyways, I can get back to work. Shrimps. Shrimp, 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 pull all the shrimp. And now I gotta go home and do work there. So, driving, 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 driving. Oh my gosh, what do you do when you drive? Hmm, what do I do when I drive? I rock it out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, copyrighted music, sorry. Back to driving. Okay, driving, driving, getting home to do more fish tanks and more work and more stuff. So I gotta work on the pond. First things first, the red tiger lotus, uh, anytime it throws a leaf to the top, that plant will then continue to throw leaves to the top of the surface. So if you want your tiger lotus to grow underwater and not at the surface of the water, you gotta pull all those leaves that hit the top of the water. So anything that has hit the top is getting pulled out. I'm also going through and chopping down this Brazilian pennywort because it will just keep going and going and going and it never ever stops. So yeah, and I gotta keep it away from the other plants. So drain that, fill that back up. This pond is literally my favorite thing like i have more fun with this pond than anything and also check this out an entire colony of ants has moved into this pond and when i say they've moved in i don't mean like there's just some ants i mean like they're moving brood in like look those are eggs he's carrying eggs into my pond which means somewhere there's a queen whatever okay beautiful Beautiful. That's looking good. And now I gotta move on to something else. Are you guys breeding in here? Do some breeding. Ugh, okay. Next pond. So this is my mini pond where I've got the smaller rope fish growing out. I've got four of them in here. And they need water change. And let's see what else. Oh, I got some new inhabitants in this pond. So at Aquatic Arts, we've got these apple snails that have just gotten super big that just keep accumulating. So I brought two of them home. And they're pretty sweet. Jaden really loves them. She loves snails. And Jaden is my daughter. If you're new here, hi. Welcome to uh, Oddball Aquatics. Uh, we're weird. And that snail, there's the other one. It's back there straight eating my plants. Like, didn't even think about the fact that these things were going to eat plants. And now that's why my plants look like crap in this pond. So moving right along, I've got this Pleco tank. It is full of plecos. I gotta get rid of some of them. I know you can't see them. Give it a second. You'll see them. So I'm gonna pull all of this out. There they are. There's all the plecos. So I'm gonna pull all those plecos and I'm gonna rescape this tank. I'm not gonna put that wood back in. We're gonna put a piece of slate in there. Yes, that's my finger in the shot. Thank you very much. Okay, so rescape that. It's looking better. And we pulled, well, I pulled everything except for like the littlest baby plecos. <clears throat> so down here you'll see a bunch of little teeny baby plecos. Albinos and regulars, they're all long fin. And then there's the male. He's obviously already sitting on eggs again because plecos never stop. <clears throat> so that piece of wood, took that and put it in the 36th uh, bow front with the puffers. It looks amazing in there. I'm still battling some serious algae in this tank because every time I move the puffers, they come back into the tank, they kill all the snails, it causes an unbalance, and I get an algae bloom. So, still battling that. 
Now, another thing I did this uh, couple of days was I ordered some plants from Dustin's fish tanks. He sent me some growth juice, and apparently the uh, bear virus is causing issues with pumps. I'm guessing that's a hand sanitizer issue. Anyways, this is a crinum natans. It's amazing. That is my bucket list plant. I'm so excited I got it. I'll show you putting that in in a little bit. The puffer's bred again. There's some puffer eggs. We're working on those. I also have a lot of baby snails, or baby snails. I do have a lot of baby snails, but I got baby shrimps too, because apparently now I'm in the shrimp game. So baby shrimps. All right, let's deal with this Natanz. In order to fit this crinum Natanz in the sporting gallon tank, I'm gonna have to pull a bunch of this val. So pull a bunch of this val, send it to a friend, because uh, sharing is caring, and then we'll pull this crinum Natanz. There was actually two of them in there because baller hashtag dustin's fish tanks fish tank tv.com check these things out oh my gosh they're so good i love them i love african plants that's calamistratum crinum calamistratum in the front but those two are crinum natans so much broader leaves super cool plant moving on to the next tank and i will do this all day people fish tanks cleaning fish tanks thinking about fish tanks whatever all day long so in this tank, I'm pulling a bunch of that wisteria so that I can see those red uh, panda barbs that I got. And a couple of pieces of this jungle val are getting out of hand, so we'll get that out of there. Trim up the jungle val, wipe it all down, fill it all up. Moving right along, moving right along. So clean this fish tank, clean that fish tank. What's the next fish tank? Oh yeah, I gotta work on that 36 gallon because it's got the algae. So we're gonna do a big water change on this, try and get all this algae out. And there's no way I'm getting all of this algae out, but what I'm gonna do is that big Anubis on the right there is covered in algae, so I'm pulling that. I'm gonna break it into a bunch of different pieces and I'm gonna put it in a Pleco tank so that they can clean off what I didn't get off of it. So working on that, filling that up. And then we will move on to the next tank because that's what I do. <clears throat> so that's full. Now we're going to move to the Albino Galaxy Guppy tank, which is right there. That's got a ton of val in it that needs trimmed, so I'm trimming that up. Um, I'm going to pull one of these Hedroy Crips to send to a friend and fill it back up. Squirt in some fertilizer. All right, so there you go. Not really a day in the life, a couple days in the life, because um, it's hard for me to like get my phone out and film when I'm doing like a bajillion things around here. But water changes are happening, shipping is happening. I've been to Ohio twice in the last like week, so I'm real tired. So that's what we do here. Live your best life, because I'm living my best life, and I got like nine more tanks I'm about to set up in the basement, plus two more racks. So stay tuned for that, because I'm going to actually film it. Because I'm going to be a good YouTuber. Live your best life. I love you guys.